Buddy Mudford here. Today I'm working on my auto darkening welding mask. My wife got me this for Christmas a few years back. It's not a terribly expensive one. It's Metal Man. You can get these at Tractor Supply. I think that's where she got this at. Here's the problem with, with this style one. Solar powered, which is probably a good thing, smart thing. So you're going to wear it when you're welding, right? But the problem is if you're a hobby welder, I throw this up in my shop and I might not have a welding project for months, maybe two, three, four months. And then I pull it out. So I put this on and strike an arc. And what you want is you want the, it to kick on and darken instantly. And what happens, I leave this in my shop that's dark a lot of times and the batteries go dead in it. So then I strike an arc and burn my eyes, which is not what you want to do. So the newer ones, they all have where you can get into the batteries in here and pop the batteries out. But this one, it doesn't have that. They're a lithium battery, one of those disc type that's like in your car remote. So we, I want to replace those because mine are not taking a charge anymore. So the first thing I'm going to do, pull that off. This is the adjuster for the darkness on it. It goes all the way from 9 up to 13, whatever that means. So then, this is out now. That was up. Go, it did go through right there, so that's loose. All you got to do is flip that up. Somehow get a hold of it. Here you are, this is the, the whole operation right here. Your solar panel, auto darkening shield, you got switches for sensitivity and the delay and shutting off. So we just need to get this open and see what batteries it takes and see if we can replace them. Okay, now what we need to do is get this open. This really isn't made to be open. I'm kind of cheating here a little bit. I already popped this open though earlier. What I did was I just kept working a really sharp knife around in the seam there and, and then prying until it came loose. And this isn't really that easy. You have to be careful not to cut your fingers off. And then it comes loose like that cover comes right off. You can see I also cheated on the battery too. I took one of them out. Batteries. If they're kind of like welded on, you can see the pinholes. Maybe you can, I don't know. On the top and the bottom. So, see this one is still in. I haven't done anything. And then that's a piece of foam that's like a cushion or spacer to hold it where you want it. When I get my new battery, I gotta get it in here, and I gotta have something pressing it hard enough to make sure that it has good contact. So I'm gonna have to have some kind of a spacer in there. I think what I'm gonna do is probably drill holes where these little tabs are. There's four tabs here. They correspond with the four holes here. And then I'm probably gonna get some little screws and put the screws through to hold this together. And then you can see right where the battery fits in here. I should be able to get some kind of a spacer in there to hold the battery tight. And I'll show you. I'll show you how I how I take it apart. This is kind of uh, interesting.
first you got to scrape this foam off. It doesn't come off very easily. You have to be really careful when you're prying around with the battery because it's soldered on. soldered on there and on the bottom side there's an, the other one is soldered on right there so if you monkey around with it too much and wiggle it around you'll break that so you can see I did a fairly good job here I didn't break these okay I stole the wife's uh, pampered chef knife ceramic one this is a very good very sharp knife so I better be careful and not break it Or, or stab myself in the hand with it because it is very sharp. I'm just slowly working my way under it. I got the tip through there now. Now is when I'm going to stab myself in the hand. There's one. There's the other one. Hopefully I didn't bend that up too much. Now for the more difficult one. say more difficult because I don't want to break it. I gotta bend the battery up. There's one. Oh, that was kind of sharp. I'll try to flatten these out a little bit probably put the new batteries in drill the holes okay well I'm ready to put it back together now I'll show you what I did I took some pliers and straightened these out as best as I can got the new batteries and put them in there and where the tabs were sticking up where the tabs were sticking up on here, I drilled holes for these screws to go through. And then there was an indentation where the battery fits. And I put a little piece of foam in there and some duct tape. And you can see where the battery, whoops, you can see there how good it works because the battery terminal is indented in. So it's hold, putting some holding force on the battery to hold it down tight like that. I put it back together now. Get my, get my wire routed through. on right Okay, we're good. The only bad thing is, you can see it, the screws were just a hair too long. But 
not going to be a big deal. the darkness controller through from the inside there and hold it. And this has a tab to line up. Okay, there we go. Now it's time to go test it out. I've got the welding mask over the camera now, kind of awkwardly. We're going to turn on the welder. And we'll see what happens. Not bad. Easy fix. I was going to have to get a whole new helmet. Couldn't get the batteries to charge anymore. Now we have a good working auto darkening helmet.